so we got some updates. These are the Z's looking. Honestly, I really don't like it. But what do you guys think? You should um, comment below. It looks kind of whack, I think so. This is, this is not the biz. It's Rick's car. Looking a little dark out here. But uh, the wrap is looking pretty good. It doesn't look too bad. This is my bumper. That's my car right there. Uh, I'm not sure if Dan showed you guys. So, this bumper right here, I want to reinforce it with some fiberglass to make it a little bit more sturdy. And then we're going to test fit it and see if it, how it fits. Because I don't think it's going to fit too good, but we're, gonna, we're already starting some fiberglass work on it, if you can see it right here. So, we're going to cut it, sand it down, and then uh, add some more um, bono to it, some body filler, and then shape it out as we go. Now the main problem area is up here. All of this going on up here is what's causing me the most physical discomfort. It's like a visceral reaction of discontent coming from this area. This area is not good either. I hate this, but I'm mainly worried about this. Cause I want to get my car done. I've been seeing for a minute. <laughs> and there's like little issues right here, like uh, like micro cracks. Do you see it right here? You can't zoom in. So yeah, so uh, something minor like that I gotta fix. It's not so micro. Yeah, and then um, here's the bottom piece for the lip. A little bit of scratches from here from driving on it, so I'll just kind of sand it down. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the little extension part that came with the aftermarket bumper. So I guess it's supposed to go something like this. Can I ask you something though? What's up? What is those? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to business. So yeah, the, the little like, snitch piece right here came with the bumper. Um, originally, I was just gonna rivet it in, but I want to mold it together, so it's gonna be like flush with the bumper. That looks nice. So technically, it goes like this. It matches the uh, over fender over here from the industry garage. Industry garage. Shout out to the industry, industry garage. garage. Let me just show you real quick. Oh, there you are. Yeah. So. If you're gonna go with the OEM bumper, I guess this is for made for the OEM bumper because it kind of fits it kind of flush. So it's supposed to be like this. Extend it, you give it a little bit of extension on it. So no, I could have just like riveted it in, but I'm gonna go with the aftermarket bumper, so we're gonna mold it in. But yeah, look looks decent from far away. Looks cool. Yeah. I like it. Are you gonna go with like just, just molding it? Yeah, are you gonna add anything to it? Yeah, I'm gonna just mold it on for now. <laughs> the end goal is uh, bond it together with the OEM fenders and kind of do some body work on it so it kind of look flush with it, the body line. Uh, so we're gonna nice. mold the fender flares on there. Yeah, with the fender. And then this is gonna mold onto the uh, the bumper that we're working on. That bumper? Yeah. And you wanna tell them about the lip? Oh yeah, the, uh, that lip right there. This is the lip, oh well, yeah, this is the bumper right here that we're working on, right here. So, like I told Dan, it's kind of flimsy, so I want to reinforce it with some extra fiberglass and some resin. And as you can see right here, we're already starting to do some body work on it, because uh, there were some cracks and it didn't fit like this, so yeah. Yeah, we're just, we're still, we're still in the process of seeing how it is and cutting it out, how much we need to cut. And then like small stuff like this too, right here. See, Dan pulls it. Got some micro cracks in there. Yeah, like some small cracks you gotta fix. And like I said, no, it's very flimsy. Yep. Let me show you guys how flimsy it is. You can see, you know, it's like it wiggles. So I wanna add some more fiberglass on it. Maybe like one layer for extra uh, protection. And then another <laughs> layer of carbon. You yeah. never have enough. We're gonna protection. skin it. All right, carbon skin it. <laughs> Yeah, other than that, it looks good. And here's the lip. Just got out of the I like how the lip is, so... Yeah, so basically it just kind of bolts directly onto the... I like it because it's a two-piece. So I just directly pull, bolt it on to the bumper. Wait, no. 
Yeah, so we've just been kind of busy, haven't been really working on our cars, and I've just been saving up money for parts. Oh yeah. And look, look what we got. Speaking of parts. Speaking of parts, we just got done taking a picture of these. So these are gonna be uh, my big break for S1000. They're from a TL, TL type list. So I, I gotta mill this out a little bit more to make it fit. So we'll show you guys how it's going once we uh, the And then these are, what are these? Oh yeah, these are our stop check rotors. Oh, that's the one that uh... The one that fell my foot. <laughs> yeah, so nothing special, just drug sliding. Stop check. S1000. Yeah. Then here, we got some. So it's just some camera kits. These are from Phase 2 Motorsports. I think they're a new company, so. That's a thousand. Look at them, it's very nice. You know, nice quality, nice setup. You're saying those are cheaper than the Megan's? Yeah, I think it's about like, not much, it's only about like 100 bucks, or like 50 to 100 bucks. That's uh, Yeah, it's still, it's still expensive though, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's not a lot of aftermarket control arms for this thousand. But in comparison to the OEM, oh, which yeah. is what, like a cast piece? Yeah, I think uh, And then, no, if you actually the scene was like very thin and flimsy. So these look like very durable, so. Yeah. And best of all, no, they're adjustable, so I need it for my rims too. Because you guys see how it looks. Yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, you know, we got a lot of parts. So I, this is the front, and I got the rears in here. I haven't opened them yet. No need to. Same, same stuff. Please. So that's later on, right? Yeah. That's, uh, mm -hmm. Have the Z, which still stacking parts for it. And uh, here's Rick's. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of dark. Yeah. It, yeah, it's pretty dark out here, but it doesn't look bad. It still look good, though. How do you? What, what do you think of here? So, oh, I'm loving yeah. it. I'm loving it. What color do you want to paint it though? Once. It's gonna be a deeper, like, like a deeper, darker purple. Oh, I see. Like a midnight purple, almost black. I'm gonna go from loud to low key. That makes sense. Yeah. Right now, I got all eyes on me with this fucking color. Right. But with the purple, it'll be low key. Just fly down the street. That's the plan. K swap. Yeah, down the road. That's the plan. Just more money. You know how it is. Just gotta keep stacking. Okay, so it takes time. We'll get there for sure. So with the Z, I'm gonna have to paint it. I'm thinking the same silver, silver and carbon, just like the list of K. I don't know. What do you guys think? Or should I go with a blue, like just the similar blue that it has now? Like a darker blue. Like the Wangan Midnight. I'm always a fan of blue. But yeah. I like gray too, so I mean they're both my favorite colors. I love gray and blue. All right, let's get to work. Yep. All right, yeah. So what's the first thing we're going to do? Yeah. So this is the area where we here when um before we did a body work work on it, there was like a little bit of gap between this and the headlight. So we had to like a little bit of fiberglass on it and a little bit of bond on top of it to fill in the gap between uh, the bond and the headlight. So all we gotta do now is just kinda trim it off a little bit and, and like I said, you know, add like extra fiberglass to the whole paper. So lay down like some sheet of fiberglass, resin, and all this all, so all pieces? the pieces. Yeah. Maybe like squares, but right here, right here. And then especially if you look right here, like the mounting points. I want I wanna fill it with some extra thick fiberglass and some resin too. Because now this is the weak point, you know, you look super flimsy. So especially right here, I want to get it done. And then maybe just like right here in the corners and stuff. Maybe the uh, right here not so much because I don't think they don't need that much. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So just gotta let it dry up and then um. I'll probably do the top next time. So we did bottom. Yeah, bottom, just, just the mounting point. It's not the best job, but it gets the job done. Yeah. There you go. That's pretty much it, you know. 
I said it started like what, 10 o'clock? Reinforcement? Yeah. So it's probably call it day to day. Yeah. How was your first experience in Bondo? Uh, fiberglassing, resin. Oh yeah, my bad. It's late. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I think it's easier than uh, doing body work or um, doing like Bondo work. Cause just lay it down and you just kind of brush it down. Make sure it gets wet. So not bad for first experience. <laughs> All right. Well, it wasn't too bad. This is the glue. Let this shit dry up. With it. Yeah, it's gonna be more sturdy. What does it smell like? It smell like ass. It smell like Bondo, but worse. <laughs> you know what smells worse than that? The differential oil. Oh yeah, gear oil. Oh bro, that stinks. See, like the fucking blow is melting on it. Oh, right, there you go. Oop. Don't call ocean. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. You now, ready to go home. Let's go home, long day tomorrow. Yeah, so uh, see you guys. Peace out guys. So next, Wait, what are we doing next? I don't know, what are we doing next? I'm going home, that's next.